Okay, number 37. So, the same to sa number 36. But this time, yung hinanap, as sinabi niya pala, neglecting the weight of the footing, compute the length of footing based Uh, footing based in contact with the soil. Yung hinahanap is the length of footing in contact with the soil. So, neglecting the weight of the footing. Okay? So, ito yon in 3D. By the way, yung figure natin, uh, ganito pala, no? Since yung D1 natin, D1 is 1.5 meters, and it is half of L, na 3 meters, so nandito yan sa gitna. No? Andito siya naka-act. Uh, yung figure niya sa board exam, ganun. Napampalin lang lang. So, ito yung ating B equal 2 meters. Ito naman yung L. Okay. Yung P natin is 800 kilonewtons. So, since yung P natin again nasa line na yan, the stress in this direction is uniform. O titingnan natin dito uniform. Dito yung magbabari. Uh, that will cause bending kasi in that direction. So, kung titignan natin yan, ito yung B natin, ito yung P na 800 kN, ito yung D2, this part. So, kung gineglect natin yung weight ng footing, the reaction at the soil, at the support, is aligned with that. By equilibrium. Dapat align silang dalawa. Okay? Ito yung part X natin. And eccentricity from the center, from the centroid. So in this case, yung eccentricity natin is simply this one. Kasi wala tayong soil. I mean, walang weight ng footing, unlike sa number 36. Okay, pwede. Pwede diretso na dito si eccentricity. Alright. So eccentricity is simply equal to 1 meter or B over 2. Minus the D2. In this case, ha, sa number 36, tingnan nyo yung problem. Iba talaga yung eccentricity natin. Okay? So, you have 2 over 2. Yung B natin, minus D2 na 0.5. You have 0.5 meters. Again, iti-check kasi natin kung may uplift pa. Kaya, kinuha natin si eccentricity. So, um, comparing that one to B over 6. 2 over 6 is 0.33. Mas malaki na siya. No? This time, it is with uplift. So, what do we mean kung may uplift? Yung pressure diagram natin sa base is triangular. Hindi na siya umabot dito sa other end. Okay? Theoretically, may uplift na dyan. Hindi na siya nag-contact sa soil. Itong part na yan, wala nang contact sa soil. Okay? So, this is the Qmax. Yung inahana sa problem is the length with, in contact with the soil. Ito yan, B prime. Of course, ito naman is con with contact yan sa soil all throughout kasi uniform yung pressure diagram natin dito because it is at the neutral axis. Unlike dito, it is eccentric kaya mas malaki yung stress in that case. Mas malaki siya dito. Okay? Now, to solve for that, kailangan natin yung relation na to, no? Kuhanin natin si X. Yung BART X is simply equal to dito in this case, which is 0.5. Now, kung titignan natin, if this is a triangle, the reaction here, the reaction must be one-third from the toe. No? One-third of the base. Basic... Uh, centroid of a triangle or one third from the base i mean one third from from the larger magnitude and two thirds naman from the vertex okay so if the base of that triangle is p prime which is yan yung inahanap natin kung uh, where bart x is known as 0.5 then the length of the of the footing that is in contact with the soil is 3 bart x Cross multiply natin siya, that is 3 bar x. With bar x as 0.5, substitute natin, then ito yung sagot. Yan yung in contact with the soil. Okay? Now, kung ipapahanap naman yung maximum pressure dyan, the formula can be derived using this one. 
the the resultant itong reaction is the resultant of this pressure press, pressure diagram so the resultant here is the area of the triangle one half base is b prime magnitude q max okay but multiply that one to the length kasi may pressure yan in this direction multiplied by the length okay so b prime is 3 bar x 3 bar x dinerive ko lang dito 3 bar x q max times l rearranging that one ito ang formula if there is uplift okay without uplift yung formula yung makikita nyo sa number 36 ito naman with uplift my uplift if p is greater than b over 6 so substitute my r tayo r is 800 Bart x is 0.5 l is 3 meters the answer is 355.56 but yeah, but sa, pro sa problem na to, yung hinahanap lang is yung um, length of ano, length of contact with the soil.